high kicks, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 176 pounds. Assassin! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 209 pounds. Fighting out of New York, New York, Assassin. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Lavigne. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. Ready? All right, so two truly elite strikers here. We sat down with them on Thursday and asked them, any thoughts of taking this fight to the ground? They want to strike. Today. They want to strike. That's what got them to the show. That is the path that they are normally on. And tonight, they get someone that allows them to fight in their comfort zone. They don't have to worry about defending takedowns. All they have to worry about is who can rely on their knowledge in the striking to carry them to victory. Trying to establish that jab once again. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. Archer, there's the early takedown. He told us on Thursday he didn't necessarily see a path to victory. If he couldn't get takedowns, that is certainly a good sign. Right away, he got the takedown. I don't believe they could have imagined that it would work so well so early. Great job. Oh, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Kickboxing chops on full display with that. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, oh! Oh, a huge block there. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Over and over, he's landed a big body kick. Nice leg kick. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Right hand upstairs. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Battling for hooks. Oh! Oh! Over the top. This fight's gonna be over. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when he was going to go low. But now he's got him hurt very bad. Look at how he turned his hip into that leg kick. Big power punch land. Now he gets back to range. And he landed the right hand there. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Well done to block that powerful kick to the bottom. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Oh, so an interesting decision there as he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. Look at the commitment to kicking this fight. He is all about that left kick to the body. That punch to the body does a lot of damage. Oh, 
Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Oh, and he hip tosses him to the mat. Now we'll see what he can do from here, DC. Right into side control. He's going to try to control him, then find a submission. All right, he's hanging out inside the closed guard of his opponent here, DC. you got to be careful. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the block. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Jockey in for position here on the clinch. Both fighters trying to get a more dominant position. <laughs> Offensive fight, nice job to block the shot there. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh. Oh. of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active. Keep it busy, doing great work. Round two straight ahead. All right, so there is the horn at times in that previous round. I didn't think we'd get here after that head kick nearly had him out of there. It was a good round leading up to that, but when you take a head kick like that, when your opponent gets your entire body into that kick, usually the night's over. Very tough to still be standing, but he can't take many more like that. there, DC. Another punch landing. Another leg kick landing. Throws the right hand there. Hook is there again. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. He got it! Yeah, there's another one for the highlight reel, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighter saw it coming, so a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. Oh, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're gonna find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight, but don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine is going to stop to this contest at 1 minute, 41 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout assassin. And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? Yeah. But you knock out a man 
in a cage fight, I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight he got that.